Okay, everybody, we are very lucky once again to have on Skype Rebel HQ's Emma Vigeland. Emma, welcome back to the Damage Report. Why don't we start with uh, Nancy Pelosi has made very clear what her approach for impeachment is going to be over the next couple of years. She said, I'm not for impeachment. Impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country and he's just not worth it. Uh, is he worth it? Is it worth it to engage in that? What do you think about her approach to impeachment? I mean, I think that this is typical of the Democrats and typical of her leadership style. It's a little bit frustrating because obviously if he's committed crimes, he should be impeached. The Republicans would not give us the same courtesy if we mm -hmm. had President you know, Kirsten Gillibrand who had committed a felony or something like that. So I just don't understand that kind of mentality where you're going to throw down your arms and not even fight and say, we're gonna unilaterally disarm before you even know if there's a reason to disarm. Yeah, it just, it seems like unless they're backed into a corner where the only option is to fight, if there's an excuse where they can say, ah, we're just gonna let bygones be bygones, it seems too easy for them to do that. And so, look, her fear appears to be that if we were to approach impeaching Donald Trump, uh, that might rally some of his supporters to his side. It might make it harder for us in the 2020 election. I mean, what, what do you think the approach should be in evaluating whether we should pursue this or not? How much of it should be sort of a political pragmatic thing and how much should it, should it be a, you know, fulfilling the what is laid out in the Constitution sort of approach? It, it's gotta be if he's committed a crime. I don't understand why this is complicated in any way. I mean, it's been revealed that he has committed crimes. He's individual one, Michael Cohen has made it clear. You can talk about the severity of the crime. Um, you can make value judgments based on that. But if I were a sitting member of Congress, I would say if a president has committed a crime and it's been made clear through a federal investigation that you should proceed with impeachment uh, going forward. And I, these crimes are not, you know, he didn't smoke pot and it was proven in a court of law that he did so in 1972. No, this, uh, the, the Michael Cohen investigation is related directly to his election. So I believe that uh, as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has said, and as other members of Congress have said, they should move forward with impeachment proceedings just based on the fact that he's committed election uh, uh, crimes. Yeah, and I have to imagine that if you're a potential president and you're looking at this, you must be like, if you have any hope of ever committing crimes in office, you've got to be pumping your fist in the air. The idea that the only way that my personal corruption will ever be investigated is if it's so obviously abhorrent and the reaction is bipartisan. That's the only way that I'll be held accountable. Man, potential despots have got to be celebrating. Right, uh, and it sends it sends a message. Just sorry, one more point that our justice system is as rigged and tiered as a lot of people think, that the people at the very top don't have any consequences when they commit crimes, but God forbid you have a dime bag of weed on the corner and you're black, and uh, then you'll be going to prison. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.